Hi guys, today I have a very special kind of robot. It's actually a musical instrument and it's a Bluetooth musical instrument. So what it does is um, when I move this virtual handle over the strings, it sends notes to my laptop and the laptop generates guitar sounds. So what this means is that I can strum and change the chord here just like a real guitar and it sounds like rock, it's an awesome feeling. I based my model on the Mindstorms activity book here and I made some changes uh, to make it easier to play. So in the original model, you use the light sensor here to um, play a chord. I prefer to um, build a handle here on the top motor so you can actually make a strumming sound and uh, move over every individual string here. I also made the neck a bit sturdier. You can see this is uh, stronger than the original model and it just nicer to play. In the introduction, I played some electric guitar with power chords, but since this guitar only sends the notes, I can change the sound to sound more acoustic. And then you get music like this. I'll quickly explain how you can build your own MIDI hard rock Lego guitar. Um, the first thing you need is the uh, Mindstorms activity book. Uh, I'll put a link in my YouTube community channel. So uh, if you subscribe and then go to the community channel, uh, then you will find a discount code and a link to this book. Um, you can get it uh, digitally or print and then you can start building the guitar. Once you build it, um, you need to make a few modifications. The most important one is that the topmost motor needs to have some kind of handle so uh, you can actually uh, move over the strings. Once that's all built, uh, you can start uh, with the codes. So let's go over to the laptop and I'll quickly explain where to get the code and how to get it onto your guitar. To get the code on the guitar, first you go to um, my GitHub and uh, I'll put a link in the description, but it's Anton VH slash MPI Robot Tools. And then well, we need two uh, codes here. One is in the example projects and it's called Inventor BLE MIDI Guitar. So let's go there. And there is a handy copy button. So let's copy the raw file. Then let's go over to the Robot Inventor and hit code. Uh, choose Python and make this guitar code, create, um, select all and replace the content with this code. We can't co run this code, however, because we're missing the BT library and we still have to install that. So let's make a new program here. Um, install robot tools. There we go, create. And um, let's go back to uh, GitHub. And the robot tools installer is in the folder installer and it's called install MPI robot tools. So let's copy all of this. Oh, better hit the raw copy button here and um, paste it into a, uh, the new code file. So select all, paste. Now I'm going to connect the guitar to my computer. You can see that it's connected because of the green light here. And let's open the uh, code tray or terminal tray to see what the script is doing. Um, so everything is ready. Let's uh, run the installer script, hit the play button. There we go. And uh, it takes a while, so be patient here. It even looks as if the script is, isn't running, but it's still running, trust me. Um, you just need to wait here for uh, the text to appear. And there we go. You see here, writing all the libraries. 
once you've seen all the text and the text has scrolled to the end you can see here see library written successfully enjoy so let's enjoy let's uh, stop the installer script and go over to the guitar script and press play here um, let's open the um, terminal tray again and you can here see that the guitar says that it started advertising so it started advertising itself as a midi instrument and it also lists the type of chords you can play um, for hard rock um, we're defaulting to the p the or power chord um, style of chord um, the next thing we have to do is to pick up the midi instrument through bluetooth so let's switch over to a program called audio midi setup and here in the midi studio there is a menu item called bluetooth configuration if you open it you get this window here and the guitar should be in the list so let's connect to it and once it connects we can go over to GarageBand and um, just open any file and select any instrument. Here I'm having the hard rock guitar. Uh, I can also play clean guitar or an acoustic guitar or even a synthesizer. And so here in guitar in um, GarageBand, I created this drum and bass track, and that's a lot of fun to play along. So let's run the drum and bass track and play some guitar here. Okay, it's simple as that. I hope you enjoyed this video and you'll be inspired to build your own guitar or maybe different MIDI instruments. Um, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye!